governor of Texas says he plans to bus migrants to D.C. That plan just announced tonight. State officials claim they're ready to activate more than 900 buses. And the governor says those people seeking asylum will be dropped off right on the steps of the U.S. Capitol. Our Tom Dempsey is live on Capitol Hill tonight with a new reaction to all this. Hey, Tom. Hey, Lorenzo. Yeah, if Governor Abbott lives up to his word, chartered buses full of asylum seekers and people who are undocumented would be pulling up to the stairs of the U.S. Capitol. Now, this could all be, of course, political talk, but we spoke to a local immigration group who says if this does indeed end up happening, the district will be ready. It's the Biden administration that caused this open border problem. As Texas Governor Greg said, Abbott faces a tough re-election bid this year, up. on Wednesday he took direct aim at President Biden and D.C. by unveiling a plan impacting anyone who crosses the border undocumented. We are sending them to the United States Capitol where the Biden administration will be able to more immediately address the needs of the people that they are allowing to come across our border. Governor Abbott's frustration lies with President Biden lifting Title 42, put in place under President Trump in 2020, that allows asylum seekers and people undocumented coming from countries where infectious diseases like COVID are present to be quickly expelled. We help with the temporary protective status, renewal of green cards. Following the announcement, the Central American Resource Center based in Columbia Heights believed Abbott's plan to be all show. I think a lot of it is just political theater at this moment. Even if Abbott follows through on the plan, Executive Director Abel Nunez believes D.C. will be fully prepared. Let's say this isn't just words that he's saying and he actually does send these immigrants up here. Who knows what will happen? happen next, but is D.C. prepared? If they come here, there is already a structure of nonprofit organizations, a support system that would be able to handle any flow of, of individuals. We do have a high population of Central Americans in the DMV, so if you want to give them a free ticket to come to this area, so be it. Worth noting, the governor did not release any specific plans when it comes to this uh, announcement earlier today, but tonight he remains in a dead heat in the Texas gubernatorial race against popular Democratic candidate Beto O'Rourke. Live outside the Capitol, I'm Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9. Well, this is certainly getting him some attention. Tom, thank you so much.